Okay, say uh, you're out camping. This is one of the tips that I wanted to share. I've seen a lot of different uh, videos about fire lighters. Now, I'm out here in Florida, and we have what's called long pine. Now, I know a couple of states have the long pine, and I don't know if this is true about other states and other pines, but the long pine is what we call lighter knot. And what it is, is it's a tree that's either been struck by lightning or felled by a storm, caught fire, whatever. And what it is, if you look, as the tree rots, the outer bark rots away, gets eaten by bugs, but the inner is just filled with sap. Now, if you look for, the, for a tree like this, and you see the points where the branches used to be, well, the bugs and stuff, they can't eat it because of the, of the uh, sap in it. Now, you don't always find them in big chunks like that, whole trees. Sometimes you might see pieces like this laying on the ground. Maybe sometimes there'll be a longer piece. Sometimes just a piece that broke off. Now, the thing about lighter knot is that uh, it's heavier. When you pick it up, you'll notice that it has a, a weight to it because it's so dense with the sap that's in it. There's another one leaning up against a the tree there. Okay, so you, you bring a chunk back to your... Uh, campsite what you want to do is you want to cut it up into usable pieces now these little slivers here these are not very big in fact uh, that's really all you'll need and it's only you'll only need like one or two pieces in order to start your fire now you you don't want to cut it all up because they will dry out after all time so what I do is I cut it into chunks put it in a bread bag seal it up and I've got fresh lighter knot for later now lighter knot will burn for a long time it will start your fire when your wood is wet uh, sometimes you might need to use more than one or two pieces but uh, only if the wood is wet uh, one thing this pine is not good to cook with and it's not good to sit around the fire because there's something that's called uh, pine fever. And what it is, it's from breathing the smoke of the pine when it's burning because it burns with a black smoke. Originally, what I understand is that the pine sap was harvested in the old days and they made it into turpentine. I hope this helps some of you guys out there camping, especially if you're doing primitive camping like I am. And uh, thanks for watching.